former OU coach Barry Switzer has concerns about the Oklahoma Sooners. Let's take a look today on Sooner Born. All right. So that's an article by USA Today that they put out saying that the Oklahoma Sooners have taken a step back. While the Sooners have taken a step back, the Texas Longhorns look to be a contender in the SEC and for a college football playoff spot. They also dominated the Sooners for the second time in three years. There are a number of reasons why Oklahoma is struggling in 2024. The biggest reason is that the offense has failed to produce since entering the SEC play. But beyond the Seth Luttrell hire and the struggles on the offense, Sooner Legends and Hall of Fame coach that we call the king around here, Barry Switzer believes the issues are bigger than that. The former three-time national champion and Super Bowl champion joined Paul Feinbaum after Switzer was selected to the SEC Legends class for 2024 and shared his concerns about the growing gap between Oklahoma and Texas. We're short in a lot of areas, Paul, Switzer stated on the show. We need help uh, we need help all across there. Defensively, we're probably better than we are offensively. We're short on the offensive line with running backs, receivers, quarterback. Every area of the offense needs help, and it's going to take a while to get there. But I think they can. I don't know. I question sometimes with NIL whether we can or not, whether we can compete against Texas every year. Uh, they can raise more money than we can. We're a small state. We've only got 3.5 million people, and it's going to be difficult than it is for the University of Texas, where they've got 35 million people. That's a big gap. A wealthier state and people to be able to support the programs. we have to wait and see. The Oklahoma Sooners have some issues along the offensive line, missing on recruiting trail before 2024, and transfer portal acquisitions not working out this year have set that unit back. Certainly, wide receiver has been an issue. Still, any team would struggle without its top five wide receivers and inexperienced at quarterback. Texas will likely always have a bigger influence in the name, image, and likeness world. However, Oklahoma has always been able to do more with lower-ranked recruiting classes than Texas until the last couple of years. Yes, there are more people in Texas, but there are also more powerful programs in the state of Texas that the Longhorns are competing for eyes and dollars with. Schools like Texas A&M, Texas Tech, Baylor, Houston, TCU, and SMU eat into the influence that Texas has in the state. Even as the biggest brand, the Longhorns have more programs to deal with. Con considering that, much of the population in the Dallas... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, oh, considering that, much of the population in the Dallas, Fort Worth, and Me Houston metro areas include transplant residents such as Oklahomans, College football loyalties reach far beyond the borders of the state of Texas. Oklahoma may have fewer people, but it is just one of two powerful programs in the state. The Oklahoma Sooners have long been considered the top brand, mm -hmm. as, as they should, and their reach, like Texas, goes beyond its border. The Sooners have done a great job rebuilding the defense. It's proven to be ready for the grind of the SEC. Now, the offense has to catch up. Brent Venable's next offensive coordinator hire could be very well define his tenure with the Sooners. So, yeah. In a nutshell, I kind of agree with that article. Um, I'm sure all of us understand what they mean, uh, what Barry Switzer meant, what he was talking about. I mean, obviously, we got to listen to the three-time national champion. You know what I'm saying? So, some things. Uh, just wanted to let you know about Barry Switzer's concerns that he told pa Paul Feinbaum, if you missed that. And uh, thank you for listening to another show. Hit the like button, subscribe button. Please share the show if you will. Hey, Weston Sloan, shout out to you. I saw you've been sharing the show. Appreciate it. And uh, hey, that's it for now. Boom, Asuna.